de livre texto. You want to know why I never came to see you? No, Pop. I don't want to know. That's your business. I kept seeing your face at your mother's funeral. How you just stood there and never shed a tear. Stood there with a scowl on your face. And now you want to walk in here and ridicule me because I didn't knock Mr. Rand on his ass. Well, you want to know why? I'll tell you why. Because I had your black ass crying to be fed. Crying to have a roof over your head. Clothes to wear to school and, and lunch money in your pocket, that's why. I had a family. I had responsibility. If I had knocked Mr. Rand on his ass, your ass would have went hungry. You wouldn't have had no clothes to wear, no roof over your head. No, I done what I had to do. <laughs> I swallowed my pride and I let them mess over me all the time saying, you bastards got it coming, look out. Because Becker's boy is going to come and straighten this shit out. <laughs> Watch out for Becky's boy. Yeah, y'all ain't gonna fuck over him. No, he's gonna grow big and strong. Watch out for Becky's boy. Yeah, Becky's taking this ass whipping so his son, his boy, can stride through this shit like Daniel in the lion's den. Watch out for Becky's boy. But what did I get, huh? Come on. What did Pop. I get? Tell me. Pop, look. What did it wasn't I like get? That, Pop, come on. What Pop. did I get? It wasn't like that. Tell me that, what I got. Pop, Pop it did no, not no, happen. No, 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 no. Just tell me what I got. Pop, look. Tell me what I got. No, I'll Pop. tell you what I got. I got a murderer. That's what I got. Pop, look. Come on now. It did not happen that and way. And the way Pop. that your mama loved you. You killed her. You know that? You you a double murderer. Oh, Pop, come on. I didn't kill you. You know that. What you call it? That woman took sick the day that that judge sentenced you. She didn't talk or walk again or eat anything for 23 days. She just laid up in that room until the day she died. Now you tell me that ain't killing her. Tell me that ain't killing her! Every day, Mama came to that courtroom by herself. Where was you? Huh? Anybody could see that it was wearing her down. Huh? Where was you when she needed uh, somebody's hand to hold? or a shoulder to cry on with somebody to talk to, huh? Where was you? Not for me, but for her. The woman you love? Man, when she fainted in that courtroom, I tried to get to her, but I had six deputies holding me back. What was holding you back, Pop, huh? What was holding you back? Huh? Where was you the 23 days that she was dying? I was trying to keep her alive. I was trying to get her to eat something, get her to, get, get her to come out of the house. Or... Man, it wasn't about me, Pop. It wasn't about food. That's not what she needed. She needed to know what you would be there for, to support her. She needed to know that you would be there for her when you got up. But no, nah, you turned your back, clinging to your rules. No, don't you clear. ever say nothing about me turning my back. Well, what you call Look, I was there. I was holding her hand when she died. Where were you? Locked up in some cage like an animal. That's what killed her. To hear that judge say that the life she brought into this world wasn't fit to live that you be remanded to the custody of the Commissioner of Corrections at the Western State Penitentiary and there to be executed by the electric chair. This order to be carried out 30 days from today. Ain't that what the judge said? Ain't that what she heard? This order to be carried out 30 days from today, that's what killed her. Don't you dare tell me anything about me turning my back. I was there. Nursing her, holding her hand, praying with her. And the last words that come out of her mouth was your name. I was there. Where were you, Mr. Murderer? Mr. Unfit to live among society? Where were you when your mama was dying and calling your name? 